Hi to everyone. We are here in, in uh, the dojo, in Hongui Dojo in Valencia for the European Buddhist Society. I am uh, here today with Sensei Daniel, a student from long ago from, from the past in our school. Uh, I'm really happy to be with him. I'm going to interview him because I am really interested in his views, in his uh, understandings and his knowledge about our school. Uh, hello, Sensei Daniel. You are uh, facing your new graduation as a Sidoshi, which is going to be in these uh, coming days. I was wondering how, how are you facing this graduation? What do you expect from me and after the graduation? Well, uh, Oscar, thanks for the interview. First of all, uh, I think the graduation of Sidoshi is a big responsibility. Uh, we pose very important stances for the school and we need to work hard to achieve this point in our uh, career inside Bougay, in our studies inside Bougay and for our development inside Bougay. Uh, best of all, uh, I would say that uh, my expectations towards this graduation is going to be filled with hard work, new developments, because as they say, for the old uh, for the new to come, the old must uh, let let it go through. I understand. See, and I see the graduation of Shidoshi as a very important stage in my life, also, and opening up for moments that I consider really important in my development and in my contribution towards the Kazanuryu Buge tradition. Talking about uh, our tradition. Uh, I know that you are you have been in our school for 15 years. Correct. It's really impressive. Uh, I can't even imagine the amount of experiences and knowledge and and uh, all the, the situations you've passed through. Mm. Uh, could you tell me about uh, about how has been this long story? Well, as any path in towards development, you also always have highs and lows. That's common to any path that you choose. Whether it's gay, it's a profession, it doesn't matter. You always have highs and lows. This experience that it brings to you, it's very important for you to harden yourself towards the adversities of life and that you may face in your development. So in this sense, it is a very rewarding achieving this point in the sense that uh, I have learned so much and have seen phases, stages, moments of the school for these 15 years, as well as several students coming by. I've met very interesting people, learned a lot with them, and I was able to help a lot of them in many situations. So that was really rewarding. What do you think? Um, I think uh, our school, it's. Um, School that is breaking some barriers. It's uh, going uh, through frontiers uh, on the on the twenty-first century. Um, what do you think related to what you're telling us? Um, how do you feel, or how 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 have you seen the school has been evolving and modernizing and getting getting beyond? Well, uh, I think that in this sense. Uh, when we think about a school and the time it's going through, for order to it to strive and prosper, and for order to be open for people that want to learn what it has to teach, in our case, the uh, ancient Japanese traditions, mm -hmm. as well as theories related to the human thought and so on, that it's very rich in our school. Uh, we must adapt in some sense to modern times without losing our soul. Although, uh, I think this idea has come has always been present uh, in our school of breaking new paths, coming to mm -hmm. new roads, achieving new points. Since we have a really strong reference of uh, past uh, teachers and our teachers' teachers, they are really strong reference to us. So it's keeping, I, I understand you mean that 
is to keep your tradition and take it to the future. Correct. Step forward to the future, adapt yourself, and keep going, develop it, without losing the essence of the ideas. Or, in our case, the Japanese military traditions. It's really interesting. I imagine that um, in those 15 years, um, I'm sure you have uh, developed yourself as a person. I mean, you have uh, maybe found. Uh, why did you stay with us so much time, and what did you find here? What, how have you evolved well, as a person? I've studied other martial arts. I've been a martial practitioner since I was nine years old. Uh, when I was living in California before moving to Brazil. And moving back to Brazil, and I started as a kid and went on through several martial arts. The thing that uh, really called my attention to towards Cousin uh, Uyghe was the diversity of the studies, how each study completes itself, how they uh, overlap each other, and how they mingle together to form a, a unity that I have never seen before, or I have never has the opportunity to be in touch with I think it's what you're telling right now it's maybe one of the most important things because to everyone I talk I'm really interested to talk to to um, the people that has been longer in the school uh, I find it really enriching myself and and everyone almost says the same about the, the way of in, inheriting a whole tradition that complements itself, uh, every part complements itself with the others. So it's really, really impressive and really, really interesting. Yeah, but another point that it's really interesting is, uh, that we have to look upon, Oscar, is that uh, Uge is not just applied for the dojo, it's for your daily life. Uh, what I've learned in the dojo, I have put towards my studies, my uh, work environment, how I deal with my co-workers, how I deal with my family, and it has enriched my uh, this relationship uh, very thoroughly. So, in this sense, uh, I see that the uh, because of the great tradition deals not only with the martial aspect. It deals with the aspect of the human being, mm -hmm. which in essence hasn't changed that much yeah. for times. Although we have several modern technologies, we have developed, we have raised our awareness, uh, our, I don't know, our place in the universe maybe, <laughs> to, to some instance. But in a sense, the human nature is still very very much like what it was through the years. So the problems you're facing as a person are mainly the same? Barely the same? Yeah, the details are different. But in essence, when you take a look from the big picture, when you look at it from the big picture, you see that basically it's the same. It says it's, uh, you have the same uh, demons you have to face, you have the same virtues that you have to give, uh, that give you strength to look forward, keep walking, looking towards facing your battles, you know, winning your wars, and so on. And in that sense, I think Bugge is uh, really passionate about it, and, and it's really enriching. That it gives you many resources so you can deal with what's coming ahead. Thank you so much, uh, Jose. As you have seen, um, it's really interesting to talk about, to talk with people that have been in our school so much time. You can see that uh, it makes um, they, they get they get knowledge for for their lives as a person, as a father, as a professional. Um, I think Sensei Daniel, it's a great example of this uh, this profit taken from from the hard work and. In, uh, in, in a personal path. Thank you very much for being with us and pay attention to uh, our new videos and interviews. Thank you so much.